I started getting involved in help my sophomore year, sophomore fall, um, and it, I was just deciding whether or not to do engineering um, at that time, and so it was kind of this introduction to engineering, and I loved um, getting involved with it, and I thought that the topics were really neat, but it's the students that are applying for the grants, and it's the students that are doing fundraisers, and the students that are kind of investigating other potential projects, and obviously going on the assessments, so it is, I would say it's probably 98% student initiated and, and run. And I was kind of involved in a design project that they were doing in Rwanda that was then implemented over my sophomore summer. Um, I didn't travel over to Africa with them. But my junior year I became more involved and um, I actually went to Tanzania my junior spring when I had my off term and we did an assessment trip for a future project there and that was kind of not the culminating experience in help because actually I, you know, I'm looking forward to designing stuff now um, before we spent our first several weeks in Dar es Salaam. Uh, it was just kind of meetings all the time um, and stuff operates very differently over there than it does here so it can sometimes be difficult to get in touch with people. Um, but we didn't find any project sites there that were kind of what we were looking for. Um, then we spent kind of the latter half of our stay in Kigoma, which is in the west, as I mentioned, and that was all done through Jane Goodall Institute. So every day uh, we would go to the institute, they have a little kind of compound, um, and then they would have a driver take us out to do an assessment trip of up to three villages each day and found it to be much more of what we were looking, looking for. We're trying to find a way for these villagers to use an alternative fuel because right now they're using firewood and that's very scarce um, and they're kind of encroaching upon the um, park area, Gombe, um, the chimpanzee reserve and that's kind of not allowed so how do you <laughs> you get firewood um, to use for fuel without doing that so maybe some type of alternative fuel source but it was it was really fun we got to explore a lot too um, meet up with a lot of interesting people and just kind of get a taste for the African culture. So I'm kind of looking into um, fusing both of the earth sciences and engineering fields into my career. Um, so this type of work definitely does take aspects from both of those areas and, and put them together.